Hello guys, today I will start a new mini-series on this channel about Advanced Laravel Livewire. The reason is that I will be traveling for a few weeks now, I will be in Germany with my family for 16 days and I have some videos planned in advance, shot in advance only for like 8 days or so. And I thought to shoot more but unfortunately caught some illness and my voice just doesn't allow to productively speak and shoot more videos in advance. So, I thought to do something that I've done a few times on this channel before, publish some free videos from my courses, like a series. And then I realized that on this channel, we haven't talked much recently about Livewire. So why don't we come back to that? So on my Laravel Daily Com, I have a premium course, Advanced Laravel Livewire, shot a year ago, but nothing really changed in Livewire, so it should be all pretty irrelevant. And for the next eight or nine days, I assume, I will publish one lesson per day about Livewire. So this is the list of the lessons in this course, and you can purchase all the course if you are a member of Laravel Daily Com. That course comes with a membership. So today we will start with the lesson about stubs, about customizing default components in Laravel, and then day after day, lesson by lesson, I will just randomly pick topics about Livewire. My plan is to come back with other topic on April the 1st, but we'll see how it goes with the journey and my health and stuff like that. Maybe I will take some vacation from the channel, who knows? I will update you on that. Maybe I will shoot a few videos from my car meanwhile. And with that in mind, also I need your feedback. Let's use this time, this kind of pause on the new content on this channel, and I will ask you for ideas for feedback about this channel. What topics do you want to see more? considering it's a 5 to 10 minute short videos, what could I do better, or general any ideas are welcome. And now let's go to Livewire and see how to customize the default stubs, and from tomorrow there will be new videos without any intros like hello guys or anything, just the topic itself. So for the rest of March it's Livewire, and see you guys in April in new videos. Let's take a look at the default structure of Livewire components. So what if we do PHP Artisan, make Livewire, for example, project edit or something like that. Some component, right? And let's take a look in app HTTP Livewire project edit, right? So this is the default structure of the component. What if you want to customize that? What if you want to have some different structure for all the components when you run make Livewire or Livewire make? For example, you want to have mount method ready for you all the time. So public function mount, maybe with empty body, but you want it to be present in every component. You can customize the default so-called stubs of Livewire by running PHP Artisan Livewire stubs. What happens then? Then you have a folder called stubs in your Laravel project with the default stubs like templates for all your future components. So we open livewire.stub and you can override it however you want. So for example, you may add public function mount like this. Let's save that and let's try to create another component. So make live wire, project create for example. Component created and let's see what we have here. So now in the new component we have mount method. So this is how you can customize the live wire component including for example live wire view stub which has the inspirational quote by default inside of the diff so you can customize that as well. It's really similar to what Laravel has, the same logic. If you run PHP Artisan stub publish, that's Laravel command, similar in the stubs folder you have the stubs for all the different files of Laravel that are generated with make command, make model, make controller, so for example default model looks like this and you may customize that however you want. So this is identical in Livewire with the command Livewire stubs. 